Hi guys, this is Yannis from the Vapor Store. It's been a while since I last uh, uh, made a review because of the new regulations with the TPD. It's been chaos. We had to change all the liquids. Uh, we have to buy new ones, hardware. It's been really, really tough. Anyway, there is a new product on the market. It's an RTA, a rebuildable tank atomizer, made by Vandy Vape. Uh, it's a Chinese company, and we're going to do a review of this product today. And also, a liquid that uh, got me excited. Uh, everybody who knows me, they know I like castor flavors. My best ever liquid is mother's milk. Uh, this is a different liquid. We're going to talk about it in a bit. First of all, we're going to do the Kylin. RTA. Uh, we're going to build it, vape it, and say good and bad things about it. Let's go to the close up. Okay, let's open it and see how it comes. Very nice packaging. Slides like this. We've got the latest warning. Stupid labels that this product contain nicotine, and in small writing it says this warning only applies once the product has been filled with nicotine containing illiquids. When you buy a wine glass in the supermarket, they don't they don't say this product contain this glass contains our alcohol. So why do they have to do it on this anyway? This is the RTA. I got mine on gold color. It comes this is a special edition. It comes uh, rainbow or gold. I prefer the gold. Some people prefer the. Let me just zoom in to show you a close up. This is it. Okay, so it's a top fill, so you open the top to fill it on the sides. Uh, you can see the 510 there is hanging down a bit, no possibility of shortage, um, the airflow three clicks to shut it off and three clicks to open it completely the beautiful thing about this is it comes with an extension glass glass and a, a pin that I will show you in a minute let me just show you you feel it from the any side um, to change a coil or cotton or build the coil you open the base that's the built-in deck and you can hold the top and put your finger inside and screw okay you can screw it like this and it comes apart so you get a bigger glass the extension pin, you screw it in there, tight, you put the new glass on, screw that back in, and the tank becomes 5 ml. That's a beautiful thing about this tank you can have it as 2 ml with this glass without the extension the tube or you can make it 5 ml so i will definitely leave it on 5 ml so this glass can go back in the box put that back on and that's the complete glass okay let's build it got the 
uh, Demon Killer Stable Staggered Fuse Clapton Coils. Each one is 0.3, so both of them will give us 0.15 ohms resistance. Okay, let's go down lower. So, in the box underneath the padding, we get a manual. That describes how to build and how to fill the tunnel, the warnings, everything you need to know. And you get this bag of goodies. Here you've got everything you need. We're going to use the Allen key. You've got spare screws, uh, O-rings, <coughs> this which I don't know what it is yet, but I will find out. Okay. We need to, the Allen key fits in there. And screw the screw so we can fit the coil in. Same with this. And same with this. So you've got enough space in there to fit your coil. I'm just going to open that a bit more. Yeah. So the coil is going to go, this is the airflow in here. You've got an airflow there and an airflow on the side. A bit like the Amit. So the coil will, one pin will go there, the other pin will go in here and the second coil one here and one here so the legs are long so we need to chop them down so um, I will chop them from here so I want the coil to be above the airflow there so I will cut it from around there And there. Come on. That's it. So it will go there. That's it. And it's sitting above the airflow. So we'll tie these sides. And then I will tie the other side. And I will put, just to straighten the coil, I use this just to straighten the coil so we can fit both of them. So this is the first coil. And now we're going to do the second coil. So I need to measure it so it's exactly the same. About there. And there. One side. The other side. And it fits perfectly in. So I'll screw this down. One side first. And then I'll try to straighten it before I screw it down. The coils, when I finish, they're not going to be touching each other because they're going to short. 
So I'll try to pull them apart. That's it. So make sure they don't touch anywhere in there. So let's I still got the griffin since the review I did, so I still use it. I absolutely love it. And I hope I'm gonna absolutely love this new device today. So the resistance as you can see just one second is and just one second point eighteen, so very close to point uh, point sorry point sixteen. So we set point three each coil and when you put them together it halves. So now I'm gonna try to get the coils glowing. Let me just make sure the screws are screwed all the way down and they're tight. Now it's very important to have your screws tight on equally both sides otherwise one side will not fire the same as the other side. Okay, I've got it on 40 watts, fire it. Let's go, just do this, squeeze them together, fire, let go until you see them glowing at the same time. I start some glow now. That's it. Once they glow at the same time, they should be ready. So now we're going to let them cool down. I put the cotton, the cotton through, and we want the cotton to be just sitting there. Okay, let's get some cotton. Okay, some people out there, they still find it very difficult to put the cotton through. First of all, you need to see the diameter of your, uh, the coil inside. It's about three millimeters. Yeah. So you need enough cotton to be it needs to be tight, not too much cotton that you won't be able to pull it through, but enough that it's going to be tight. I'm just uh, doing just do this with your cotton to get it fluffy, but not too tight. So twist one side and put it through. Pick it up from the other side, twist it, pass it through, that's how it should be. So, we don't want it to, to be too long, we don't want it to be too short, we want it to be just there. So we'll measure it on the sides, and cut it about there. Same on the other side, measure and cut about there. Now we do the same thing with the other side. Just get your cotton, roll it, don't squeeze too hard, and just making sure that it's rolled. Twist one side, put it through. And twist one side and pull. You see, tight but not too tight. And same thing on the other side. Just cut and cut. So the coils do not touch. There is a gap in the middle. The cotton is nice and fluffy. You just 
tug it in just needs to be tucked in there so the liquid in the tank touches the cotton and it prams all over same with this side and that's it so let's put the mango this is the bottle we get in a pack you get three bottles of 10 ml in one pack uh, the reason i like these liquids um, is mango ice i never liked mango but this liquid is so nice mango always gives me an aftertaste a bitter aftertaste this one the first time i tried it i was gobsmacked um, I'll tell you a little story while I do this. Um, I went to Meadowhall with my wife the other day. When I first got this mango, I put it in a new tank, a TPD compliant tank 2 ml. And um, in A57, I had one puff and I couldn't put it down. By the time we went to Meadowhall, yeah, the tank was empty. Down to Meadowhall, I didn't take the tank with me. I left it in the car on the way back after three hours. Um, I filled the tank up, by the time I came home, the tank was empty again. I absolutely love this mango. Okay, when you close the tank and you're going to fill it with liquid, you want to make sure that the hole is covered, is blocked. Because when you open this to put the liquid in, after you put the liquid in, and you close it, the pressure of closing it down is going to push the liquid through the holes and it's going to start leaking so let's fill it so remember this is 5 ml now fill it half put the cover close it and then open the juice holes and let that cotton absorb the liquid and just give it a minute we put liquid on the coil so it doesn't need a long time just one minute just to make sure that the cotton is all over the place and back face to face okay here it is tank liquid ready on 60 62, 63 watts, and put it on 65. This coil needs some power. 65 watts, and here we go. Mmm, tons and tons of flavor. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just gonna open the juice holes completely, so it juices from both sides. Oh my god, the mango just exploded. I have to say, this liquid is absolutely amazing. Do you remember the element fresh, uh, not the fresh squeeze, the uh, watermelon chill, which is a watermelon menthol? This is mango and menthol, but it's very sweet, really nice. Um, as I said, I don't like mango flavors, they always have a bit of aftertaste, but this one, the first time I tried, I fell in love with it. So, it makes your mouth icy cold and then you get that flavor of the sweet mango and it's absolutely beautiful the, the rta unbelievable i'm so excited i found another one like the, the griffin which i'm still using and i'm so glad that i have a second rta Really, really good. Uh, this company who makes these liquids, they call Monster Vape, and they are from Malaysia. Like they are very similar to Nasty Juice, and um, I just 
and I tried the fat boy from uh, nasty juice but I prefer this because it's more sweet and a bit more icy they do another th another one flavor that is lime and apple and lime another flavor that is grape and apple and uh, blackcurrant slush thank you for watching um, this RTA is just um, we just brought it now it's in stock it comes in two colors I will show you the other color as well the rainbow which is really nice and the retail price is between 30 for 35 pounds so like any other RTA uh, thank you for watching and enjoy vaping